Welcome to Ken's Corner Podcast, Season 3. Get ready for expert analysis and rising wrestling stars. Now here we go with your host, Ken Judge. Hey everyone, it's Ken from Ken's Corner and I'm happy to be here today with my hometown friend, uh, Stovall Proud, Mr. Matt Burns, professional wrestler. It's always a pleasure to have someone uh, that's right here in my backyard uh, join me here on Ken's Corner. How are you today, Matt? I'm very well, Ken. Thank you for having me on. Uh, like you said, it's uh, you know the the Stovall wrestling uh, loyal are, are uh, you know hard to find. We hide in little corners here and there, so it's funny when something like this brings us together. It's uh, yeah, it's a great time. Yeah, definitely. Okay, we're just going to take you back to the beginning of your career, and let's talk a little bit about why you became a wrestler. And uh, honestly, I also want to know a little bit about your amazing race. I know you came on my uh, the radio station I work for, Whistle Radio, a few years back. So let's just talk about all that right now. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, what's the, the the first there? Kind of how and why wrestling, mm-hmm. right? Uh, what, Shawn Michaels, I guess, put it best with the whole boyhood dream thing back in the day, right? Uh, you know, I went to Brother Andre just around the corner from here uh, after school ended and it was kind of where, where am I going? I, I was looking for uh, a passion project, you know, something to do that wasn't what everybody else was just kind of, you know, time to go to school and and settle down and, you know, figure that part out. I, I kind of wanted more. Uh, wrestling had always been a passion, always been a dream. Uh, so I went down to actually to Ron Hutchinson's gym. Uh, we just kind of couldn't work out on timing. There was another gym in Woodbridge I had gone to uh, that was closing down. And I went out to school at Fanshawe. Uh, at the time there in Fanshawe, there was a, a company called uh, PWE that came and ran a show at the uh, at the school. And uh, one of the people from the school was a student at the school, was a student at the school there. So there was a right above him in the newspaper and I had said, hey, you know, I've been looking to get involved with this. Uh, where, where's the best place or where can you point me to? Uh, so he sent me to a gym in Hamilton. Uh, that was at the time, it was uh, Power Slam Wrestling's gym in Hamilton. And uh, I started heading down there to the other kind of notable. We had we had our first match together. Uh, now he's a WWE referee, Mr. Daryl Sharma. So we had our first uh, our first match together um, back in 2002. So we're going we're going back some here, Ken. <laughs> That's awesome. Um I just, because uh, I'm curious, uh, can you tell me a little bit about how you ended up on Can- uh, Canada's Amazing Race? I, I think you did very well in uh, season three. Am we, I right? we did, yeah. So, I mean, so again, like wrestling was was, was awesome. Always a thing. Myself and uh, Daryl were training at, at Power Slam. It was great. Uh, a little while later, I moved to a gym in Newmarket. I uh, was training with uh, Ruffy Silverstein out of a gym in Newmarket and uh uh, Nick Andrew, who's still uh, you know active and dominant on the wrestling scene, uh, also known as Asylum or Stone Rockwell, some may have heard. Um, you know he's done some great stuff with WWE, with TNA, with Impact. Um, we both kind of started training at the gym there together, and and our personalities just kind of clicked. And uh, we said, you know what, we're at the time we kind of felt we're we're too small to get a big, a big push as a as a big guy. We're too big to get a big push as a small guy. So we said, you know what, let's. Uh, let's tag up, let's brand together, because no one had really been doing that. Um, so we we branded ourselves the Flatliners. We uh, we teamed up. We we wrestled everywhere and anywhere we could. Did that cut off? <laughs> no, you're here. <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought that cut out. My screen's, my screen's cut out here. Yeah, oh. <laughs> so we wrestled anywhere and everywhere we could. Um, and uh, we saw the Amazing Race Canada application. It said, we're looking for good teams. So we said, well, you know what? I mean, unique teams, that's that's kind of us. Uh, so we put a little package together, sent them uh, sent them the application video. Uh, lo and behold, a few a few months later, we were getting the call to, uh, to come down for a, a proper interview. We went for that interview and they said, dress as you would at the start line of the race. So we were in sort of track suits, matching track suits with colorful ba- bandanas and what have you. And we sat down and they said, oh, so you guys are the wrestling team. We kind of wish you would have come in uh, in your wrestling, uh, you know, wrestling attire. And we kind of looked at each other we stood up, ripped off our track suits, and there we were in full gimmick. Uh, <laughs> you know, the crowd went wild, and uh, we knew kind of right at that point that it was uh, it was it was probably a win for us. And where did you place uh, in the finish of all that? So uh, after uh, about a total of about six weeks of taping, we we finished second by uh, it had to be under under ten minutes, five minutes maybe. Uh, it was uh, bittersweet, awesome. right? It was uh, we got about as close as as you physically could to winning Amazing Race Canada. And uh, hey, listen, second place is uh, 
in that sense is we, we never lost, right? We made it to the finish line. Uh, we, we never had the shoulders to the mat. We never got pinned. That's awesome. That, that's so amazing to hear. Congratulations on that. No, uh, thank you. You're welcome. We're just going to talk a little bit uh, about, actually, we're going to show a, a quick clip of your ring um, intro here in a few seconds, and uh, maybe we'll talk about it just a second. Okay, now we're back, and uh, let's just talk about uh, what it is, your your music, and how you come in your ring. Absolutely. So, I mean, uh, I think everyone right now kind of, you have life and you say pre-pandemic or post-pandemic. Uh, you know, pre-pandemic, life would kind of switch for me, and, and I really had thought maybe the wrestling career element was done. Uh, fast forward to kind of early 2023, I was just in a point where I said, you know, uh, I need something that puts a smile on my face. And I had been in the ring only a handful of times really over the last five years. And uh, I reached out to uh, to Chris Chambers, who runs the Super Kick Wrestling Academy, said, hey, you know, I need to put a smile on my face, get back in the ring. So I started uh, heading down to Toronto at the uh, the Super Kick facility, uh, was training there for a little bit. He said, you know, you, you're doing well, man. You let me know when you're ready and we'll get you on shows. So uh, the, the intro clip there is uh, is from one of the Super Kick shows. Uh, I work those we do uh, uh, generally about the third Friday of every month in Toronto, Ontario. Uh, fantastic crowd, incredible energy. Uh, so yeah, that's just kind of the music coming out is to corn uh, uh, coming undone. I just love the beat. Great, uh, great hype music gets the crowd going gets me going gets me jacked up for when it's time uh, when it's go time. I 100% agree with you. I've actually attended a corn concert and I just couldn't stop moving the whole the whole show. So yeah. I, I agree with you there. So anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, why I asked you on to the show today. And this event that's coming up right here in our backyard in Stouffville. Uh Can you tell us what uh, winning against Aiden Prince actually would uh, do for you in, uh, in the future? So I'll tell you this, Ken, I'm really excited about the pro wrestling stand-up, the, the, the debut Stouffville show. Now, again, not debut. There has been wrestling in Stouffville 70s. millenniums <laughs> ago, right? right? Uh, you know, back in the day when, when people were still allowed to wrestle a bear. Uh, <laughs> you know, things have changed quite a bit. And I've long thought, hey, you know, wrestling in Stouffville would be phenomenal. Having a good family-friendly event would be phenomenal. It's something that, honestly, personally, I've wanted to put on myself. Um, and just kind of never quite, uh, never quite took the jump, never quite got around to it. So uh, when I heard that, uh, that, that PWS was going to be putting on a show in Stouffville, I said, listen, you know, I'd, I'd love to be a part of it. Uh, the exciting part about this for me, again, coming, being that I've, I've taken it, I did take a step back and then kind of came back to wrestling. There's all kinds of new talent, people that I haven't had a chance to, to be in a ring with, haven't had a chance to see really um, that, that are, that are on the show that are coming around. Uh, so I'm really excited to kind of watch the remainder of it, you know, and, and be a part but uh, you know, then then I get told it's you and and uh, he's he's a big one, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he is. He is. Uh, <laughs> but so, so are you. So are you. Yeah, you know, that's that's you know <laughs> I, I, what I've lacked in the hype department. I kind of make up for in, in the, the the strength and width, I guess. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know what? It's it, it, it's a big thing for me. I think we're we're just uh, right at the gate. We're gonna set the tone for that show. Uh, you know, it's, it'll be a power versus power, um, and. <sighs> Winning that match means everything, you know, not just a matter of uh, the entrant 
the winner is an entrant in the rumble. That, that kind of stipulation was, it was thrown at me a little bit later, but to be someone that can sit there, uh, really just kind of set the pace for Stouffville's uh, first wrestling show in, 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 in decades uh, is something that's very important to me. Um, so, you know, definitely looking forward to that. Thank you. You just gave me pins and needles and I, I agree with you. I can't wait for you to uh, get that Stouffville event uh, off the mat, so to speak, and inside that squared circle. Now, uh, we're just going to shoot and uh, uh, let everyone know, I'm sorry, uh, where we can find Matt Burns. Uh, if they want to look you up, uh, your YouTube, maybe, or any social media that you might uh, have out there for your uh, loyal fans. Absolutely. You can search Matt Burns Wrestling on, on YouTube. I've uh, recently created a bit of a YouTube channel. Now, again, I started wrestling in 2002. Back in that day when we wanted to get booked, we were sending a VHS tape to promoters. So, you know, the whole way of YouTube is a little bit different for me. <laughs> um, you know, when I, when I do it to 2000 and, uh, you know, early 2023, when it was uh, time to get back in the ring and, and someone said, oh, you got to make yourself an Instagram page. Said, what? For what? He says, well, that's how promoters are booking everyone these days. I was like, God damn it. All right. So, uh, you know, it, it's all, uh, it's all relatively new to me, the whole, uh, the, the social media world. Uh, but you can find me on on that YouTube if you if you check Matt Burns Wrestling. You can find me on Instagram again at, uh, at Matt Burns Wrestling. Um, you know anywhere there is uh, is definitely a place to start. Awesome, thank you. And this is a fun part of it. I'm leaving the floor open to you, Matt. Anything Matt Burns uh, wants to uh, add to this interview today? Uh, guys, I mean again, like we the one thing, especially if we're kind of localizing it to to the uh, the, the the Stouffville area here, the, the Markham area, the surrounding areas. I think, uh, you know, I grew up there uh, and it's always a, a matter of, hey, you know, what do you guys want to do tonight? Same old, same old, right? Uh, so I, I think the amazing thing here was just an opportunity to bring the family out, bring the friends out, uh, you know, come support the show, come check out young talent. Again, that's what I'm excited for, seeing a lot of this young talent that, that, that I haven't had a chance to work with, just kind of watching them entertain the crowds. Uh, you know, a good friend of mine came to a show recently and she said, you know, I, she said, I love it because this is things kids remember. This is things where they say, oh, I remember, you know, going to the wrestling matches with my dad. I mean, everyone you talk to nowadays or or that grew up in the in the 80s or 90s, you know, that's what you remember. You remember sitting and watching wrestling with the family. So uh, it, it just it gives me chills even as I sit here saying that and hoping you can establish that memory for somebody. Uh, so PWS, I'm super excited that that finally there's a wrestling show here in Stouffville. I'm super excited to be a part of it. Uh, I'm pumped to be able to be the uh, the first uh, first match on the card. And uh, the the plan, and make no mistake, the plan is to win that match, uh, become the entrant in the Rumble, and uh, come out as the first champion. That's that's awesome. Thank you so much. And, and I agree with you 100%. I took my son to his first show in Oshawa. And at first he thought it was a little violent, but now I'm sitting behind his, uh, behind me is his wall of uh, wrestlers. And I, I want to uh, add uh, Gunnar Lang and Matt Burns uh, to this list up here for him. Uh, he's uh, always super excited to see uh, wrestling. And uh, I, I believe he's really excited to have it right here in his hometown of Stouffville. So I much appreciate your time here today, Matt. Um, I, I want to thank you and I can't wait to, to see you and uh, give your hand a shake there uh, after that match or even before the match, whichever you prefer. I know you might be zoned in before you go in. So maybe after the match, we'll have a little talk. I'll be zoned in. But once I deal with that, uh, that giant monster, uh, Aiden, Aiden Prince, uh, we'll have time for you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, everyone, this is uh, the end of the show for today. Thank you so much again, Matt Burns. My name's Ken. I'm from Ken's Corner. And today I'm here with my hometown friend from Stouffville, Matt Burns. Thank you so much, sir.